There was excitement in the air as the Kenyan community living in Pennsylvania geared up for the annual Madaraka Day Festival. But what is Madaraka Day Festival? Madaraka Festival is a, a combination of blood, sweat and tears. Uh, over the last 13 years we've had at least 9 or, or 10 uh, years, uh, excluding the COVID years. So 2013 we started as a group of uh, just local individuals that wanted to be able to uh, have a, a session where we can meet and uh, have some food and our kids can get to play and an exchange of culture. So we use Madaraka Day as one of those things because it's the beginning of summer for us here in the US and it allows for us to be able to uh, travel and there's no real plans on this weekend. So here today we have multiple vendors people from all across the state of Pennsylvania. And uh, Harrisburg is unique in the sense that we are like almost right in the middle of the state. So people from all corners of Pennsylvania have come here today to enjoy this day, some food, some music, and um, vendors from all across Kenya. Before I continue, please subscribe to this channel for more educative and inspiring stories. The festival brings together Kenyans from all over the state of Pennsylvania and beyond to reconnect, network, and celebrate the Kenyan culture. I own a shipping company. Uh, the name of the shipping company is Homeland 254 Logistics. And uh, as I said, uh, we, we ship to Kenya. Uh, we primarily ship for uh, people who live in the U.S. Um, and we ship household personal items um, and so if you have anything to ship you just call us you tell us what it is whether it's clothes shoes most people will ship um, personal items to their loved ones like clothes and shoes and uh, household items um, we're based in Pennsylvania uh, East Coast and uh, the areas that we serve are from all the way from Massachusetts down to Florida. And we have been in business for the last uh, 10 years. So, you know, we're very happy you know, with what we do. Uh, people are very happy with our business. We are an honest uh, business. We are a people business. We connect with our customers. Our customers know us one on one. And it takes about two and a half months for the goods to arrive in Kenya. And we do all the clearance. We do the, the customs and duty, and the goods arrive at our warehouse on Kiambu Road. So once they arrive, we call you, and then you come and pick them up. This year's event was held in Middletown, Pennsylvania, and preparations had been underway for weeks. Vendors set up their booths, exhibitors displayed their goods, and every participant put on their favorite African attire. The event today was amazing. The turnout was great. There's a lot of people who showed up and made the event really memorable. And we're hoping that we can have more success in the years to come because today's event was really, really a success. The festival featured Kenyan foods, music, children's games, and various exhibitors. Among the exhibitors were some notable guests. I'm the founder of Connection Ubuntu, and we do uh, we set up computer labs in uh, Africa. And so I'm here today to meet friendly Kenyans and um, spread our word. And I'm also looking for some board members. So um, we're hoping to, you know, have someone join us for our team. What are the qualifications for somebody to join your team? Um, we have uh, board meetings every other month and to um, have knowledge of Africa and not necessarily knowledge of technology. We can, you know, teach that, but mostly um, it's just the knowledge of people and, and humanity. So what exactly does the, the organization do? Is it charity? Is it for sale? It's uh, donated. We donate computers to um, the Africans 
and so they would request um, a computer lab from us and then we would you know get in contact with them send them um, an application and they would fill that out and then um, if they meet our requirements which are small we we ask for 50 percent of our students be women or girls um, they need to send us reports every three months for two years and those are the two most important um, requirements that we have. Uh, they cannot be in a government building, um, but we try to have mostly the community-based organizations and the um, non-governmental organizations as our partners. And you are telling me something about Kakamega. Maybe you can you tell me briefly about Kakamega? Ah, we have a, a computer lab in Kakamega called um, Humanity for Sustainable Development. And um, they're in Soy, which is fairly close to Kakamega. Um, and so we'll be traveling there next January with, there's 18 of us going, and um, so we'll, we'll visit that computer lab. The festival was a feast for the senses, with the tantalizing smells wafting through the air from the food stands, vibrating music filling the air, and colorful displays of traditional Kenyan clothing and jewelry. Yes, 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 yes. Volunteered all their time and took their time away from eating some goats. <laughs> okay. That's Miss Aisha. She is a designer. Any and all products that you want, you can order them from her. Visitors made their way from booth to booth, sampling delicious Kenyan dishes like nyamachoma, pilau, and ugali, while engaging with exhibitors and vendors. Um, I'm Michaela, and um, what's called the designer just asked me, asked both of us to come yeah. and wear her designs. I'm Lexi, um, and yeah, same thing happened to me. Actually, this girl right over here broke me into it, and I can't. I can't thank her enough. It was super awesome yeah. to model. Very good looking clothing that everyone should go buy right now. Yes, it was great. Go buy it right now. For sure. Are you Kenyan? No. Nope. What do you think about Kenya? Love Kenyans. Yeah, I've grown up with um, my best friend. Her parents are directly from Kenya. She's Kenyan. I've been coming to this little event actually for a very long time. Great fun and super great place. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Hello. You can say something. Hi, I'm Alice. You want to come in? Hi, I'm Allison. So we have a drawing. Yeah, we were in the fashion show and excited to be here for Mataraka Day. It's a really good celebration. So, yeah. How was it? It was fun. It was very fun. Yeah. It was nice to show off the clothes, traditional clothing, a new take on traditional clothing. So, yeah. Yeah. The children played games and participated in face painting activities while adults enjoyed networking with each other. As the day wore on, the crowd grew larger and more festive. A Tanzanian award-winning fashion designer from Houston, Texas showed her latest designs which had a distinctly African flair which spectators couldn't resist. Uh, I to Asia Idarus Hamsin, a fashion designer from Tanzania. But I have a lot of work in Tanzania, Uganda, but I have a lot of in Na uh, customers wangu wengi ni wa Kenya na they support me so much. I love them. Kwa hiyo niko hapa kwenye Madaraka Day na huwa nafanya kazi na Kwitu na Afri Fries Kenyans. Na nimefurahi sana leo niko hapa Pittsburgh kwa ajili ya Madaraka Day. Nafanya kazi na Mashujaa Awards, nafanya kazi na na events zao nyingi sana, Dia Awards. So, naweza kusema kwamba they support me so much na ni they are good supporters. Kwa watu wengi, sio mimi peke yangu tu. Na mimi ni 
Tanzania lakini nasaidia watu wote fashion designers wote ambao ni upcoming napenda kuonyesha njia ya kuendeleza fashion industry in East Africa or Africa I have an awards of mother of fashion Africa lifetime achievement awards humanitarian awards nyingi nyingi Africa na Tanzania na nchi nyingine kwa hiyo I'm just here for fashion and my designs is here we had a nice fashion show here all right i love your support washira on the other hand was promoting almond estate company's unique property in kenya which drew quite a number of interested buyers uh, my name is crispus washira i'm the managing director almond estate which is a real estate company in kenya registered nine years ago doing housing and lot um, we are in the affordable space and in this space we entered into immediately upon incorporation so the government of Kenya found us there when we are talking of affordability now we are uh, here in uh, uh, Harrisburg uh, exhibiting what we are doing currently we have uh, our projects uh, we have done uh, three complete housing projects which we began in 2020 and we have handed over the first one Kitsuru phase one is handed over variant homes is handed over now we are in uh, uh, Kitsuru uh, 2 which is called Armod Heights a 60 unit apartment and uh, we are here to tell Kenyans that uh, do not worry matters investment as Armod we have what you need and we have your solution in terms of financing and in terms of product we have a product befitting you your capacity in terms of financial a 5.6 million two bedroom unit and a 3.7 million one bedroom unit a one bedroom unit giving you rental yield of 25000 a month and a two bedroom unit giving you a rental yield of 40,000 shillings a month. We have a financing arrangement with Kingdom Bank, allowing you 10 years repayment period. What does that say? It, what does that mean? It means that uh, uh, coming into Almod, we will have an opportunity to have uh, your unit that you are investing in or as house for 10 years, paying in installment. Why? Because we want to uh, number our people in the diaspora to invest back home. When we come to land, um, we have all these projects that we have undertaken. Again, looking at our prices, 800, 750,000, these are affordable prices because we are in uh, the affordable space, dealing with the middle class and the bottom of the pyramid. Again, uh, uh, a repayment period of five years with Kingdom Bank. We are saying we are here to make sure that uh, our people don't miss an opportunity to invest back home in real estate. And as an organization, Almod is there to hard hold you into these opportunities. Imagine even 100% financing where we are not asking for any deposit. When the bank places you and tells us that you have the capacity, 100%. And I am inviting Kenyans in Harrisburg and PA to invest in Almond. Call us on uh, zero or on plus 254-733-874080. And you get my number. You get to me right uh, on my desk. I will handle you. You are my friend. I've made contacts. I want to ensure that Kenyans are investing back home. And you are Dora, let me tell you, this is the time to invest back home when the dollar is so strong against the sharing. With a few dollars, you can do much. With a few dollars, you can do much. Take advantage of the dollar at the moment. And uh, with our mod, we have the opportunity to enable you. All our products, the fact that uh, banks are partnering with us tells you how credible you, we are. Let me say as I conclude that the government of Kenya has appointed us as strategic partners in affordable housing. We are doing 270 units in Kisarian this year uh, under the affordable housing program of government. And that is to tell you again 
that we have been carried, uh, uh, due diligence has been done on us and government is comfortable working with us. And therefore, what we are Harrisburg, now what we are Penis uh, PA, Karibuni Sana, Armour, to invest Pamoja, to Kuze, Taifaleti. And Jennifer Chege from Family Bank's Diaspora Banking Division had a lot to offer to the Kenyans living in the USA. She spoke about the diaspora banking services offered by Family Bank and how it makes banking for them a lot easier. We're just here to market diaspora banking, where you can live abroad and invest back at home. Yeah, diaspora banking is more about Kenyans who are living abroad wanting to invest back home. And basically what they want is accounts, they want to do mortgages, they want a place they can call their own, so they want mortgages like build, purchase, or even um, uh, buy plots, and more so, uh, I can call it real estate. That's basically what most people want and to save. And uh, the purpose of uh, the bank, family bank specifically, coming in here is just to make sure that uh, all diaspora customers are partnering with uh, very credible partners like Family Bank. So it's the, the uptake is good right now. And as you can look at uh, globally the remittances, there's a, a big improvement even since COVID time. Yeah, so diaspora banking is, is doing good. All in all, the event was a huge success, with everyone calling it the biggest and the best Madaraka Day festival ever. It provided an opportunity for Kenyans living in Pennsylvania to reconnect with their roots, meet new friends, and celebrate their culture. So we have a variety from tops, skirts, dresses, two-piece outfits like what I'm wearing, and the, uh, the prices vary on each type of clothing it is. We also have jewelry, as you can see back there. We have bags, we have men's shirts, hats, and clutches. Yeah, so I work with, I have a dressmaker, a jewelry maker, a clutch maker, and a bag maker. So I'm supporting the Kenyan community by having all these things made in Kenya and then shipped over here. And it's like part of my process goes back to help my home country. So for somebody who wanted to buy from you, where is the location of your shop? I don't have an actual shop, I have an online shop and the website is www.titoshouseoffashion.com So all this is on titoshouseoffashion.com So just Google Tito's House of Fashion and you'll find us. We are also on Facebook and Instagram as Tito's House of Fashion. The memories and friendships forged at the event would last far beyond that day. Here are some of the comments from the participants. Yeah, I'm very much happy to be here to meet Kenyans, and especially for the purpose of Madaraka Day. It was our day, we got our independence. It's Madaraka Day celebration, which is our Independence Day from Kenya. So I think that's wonderful. Love the music, already love the people, met our homie here. Yeah, so it's wonderful. Kenyan party, uh, we have been coming here for like, how oh many, I think this is like my third one and it's just so much fun, I meet friends, um, I enjoy the food, there's every kind of food that we don't cook ugali all the time and 
you get to eat everything you want here, so it's fun. I meet friends, I meet families, so, and I'm happy to be here. So today's function is um, really good. We had a lot of food here. We actually came all the way from Baltimore, and she's from Laurel, Maryland. So this is uh, what year? Third, fourth year coming. So it's getting bigger and bigger each year. And your name? I'm Chico. Where are you at? Today's event was awesome. Everybody ex 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 excited. I can see it's a, di a diversification of every tribe from all the corners of the world. I can see what Somalis here. I can see Kenyans here, Burudis, uh, name it. They are all here excited. I'm basically, I'm in PA, but uh, I come from New Jersey and I have seen another guy from Delaware. So it was more exciting. Food was awesome. Exhibitions were awesome and we're excited. Together we can grow. Together we can march. Thank you and be blessed. And that marks the end of this year's Madaraka Festival. It has been exciting. It has been very nice. My name is Bonventure and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, connecting people, inspiring Africa.